Just in, NASA's newly developed film from Proxima B shocked the scientists. The internet is abuzz with excitement as a strange signal from Proxima Centauri captures the attention of both scientists and, consequently, the public. Did they find a highly developed civilization along? Well, amidst the battle between protagonists and antagonists, this is how the discovery was made and will affect us in the future. The newly developed film from Proxima B that shocked the scientist was due to the courtesy of a project named Breakthrough Listen. It was funded with $100 million, oversees the investigation of a signal for indications of advanced civilizations. Led by Yuri Milner's Breakthrough Initiatives, it obtains observing time on global radio telescopes. Launched in 2015, the multi-year project attracted figures like Stephen Hawking, aiming to find extraterrestrial intelligence, or SETI. Despite 50 years of limited SETI activity, no conclusive evidence has been found. Signals discovered are often attributed to human interference. Jason Wright, an astronomer at Penn State University, suggests that an extraterrestrial signal could indicate advanced technology, although humans have developed similar technology. On April 29, 2019, researchers from Breakthrough Listen began collecting data that eventually led to the revelation of this fascinating signal. The latest SETI undertaking commenced to comprehend how flares from Proxima Centauri could impact its planets. Using the Parkes Radio Telescope in Australia, a team has been observing the Red Dwarf Star for signs of flares. The Proxima Centauri system consists of at least two known planets. The first, Proxima b, was discovered in 2016 and is approximately 1.2 times the size of Earth. It orbits the star every 11 days and lies within its habitable zone, where conditions for liquid water on a rocky planet are plausible, assuming Proxima Centauri's intense flares haven't eroded the atmosphere. The second planet, Proxima c, has a mass nearly seven times that of Earth and follows a frigid 5.2-year orbit being found in 2019. From April 29th to May 4th, the Murchison Wide Field Array Telescope was employed to monitor the activity of solar flares on Proxima Centauri. This red dwarf star is situated 4.2 light-years away from us. Red dwarfs are known for their powerful solar flares, and since they make up the majority of stars in our galaxy, understanding their behavior is crucial. Researchers scanned Proxian, a star known for megaflare activity, to understand its impact on planetary habitability. The scan covered 800 million radio frequencies using advanced technology and accumulated 20 terabytes of data. During the analysis, a young intern named Shane Smith discovered a peculiar signal at 982.002 MHz within the Proxima Centauri measurements. This signal's ability to persist, even when the telescope was pointed away from the target, indicates that it originated from Earth rather than Proxian. Moreover, the signal could not be attributed to known terrestrial sources or natural phenomena. This discovery sparked rapid investigation due to the signal's unique ability to pass through multiple filters. The analysis aimed to determine the nature and significance of this enigmatic signal. A recent signal discovered by researchers at Penn State University for the Breakthrough Listen project has generated excitement in the field of SETI, Search for Extraterrestrial Intelligence, dubbed BLC-1, Breakthrough Listen Candidate 1. The signal passed rigorous automated tests to eliminate terrestrial interference, standing out as a persistent and intriguing anomaly. Lasting approximately five hours at a frequency commonly used for airplane communications, the signal ruled out the possibility of airplanes in the area. However, attempts to relocate the signal proved unsuccessful. According to Jason Wright, director of the Penn State Extraterrestrial Intelligence Center, the signal exhibited characteristics typical of objects in space due to the Doppler shift caused by Earth's rotation. According to Sophia Sheikh, who supervised the investigation, despite the inability to trace the signal's origin back to Proxima Centauri, it did display clear indications of being of technological origin. The signal's singularity at a specific frequency distinguished it from natural phenomena. While the possibility of human-made interference, such as radio, phone, or computer signals from Earth's surface, was considered, Sheikh asserted that the interference was caused by human technology. 
The researchers meticulously reviewed data from 2019 and confirmed that the telescope had observed Proxima Centauri on multiple occasions, ensuring the signal was not an unrelated source such as microwave usage in the observatory's cafeteria. While the nature of the signal remains uncertain, its discovery represents a remarkable development in the ongoing search for extraterrestrial intelligence. Breakthrough. Listen employs nodding, where the telescope spends time observing the target and then an equivalent period looking at other parts of the sky. Shake explains that in five of the 30-minute observations spanning three hours, they observed the signal returning, suggesting that it likely originated from Proxima Centauri or another deep space source in that area of the sky before reaching Earth. Therefore, one might assume that the matter would be resolved, and the possibility of an unnatural explanation, like aliens, would be even less likely than a natural one. However, while a natural cosmic source may seem unlikely, it cannot be ruled out at this point. When questioned, the Breakthrough Listen team members find it highly improbable that the signal is anything other than terrestrial interference. According to Pete Warden, executive director of the Breakthrough Initiatives, it is most likely a human cause, with a 99.9% .9 probability. While doubts exist, the team will use the most rigorous scientific approach to analyze all potential signals. Milner, who funds the SETI researchers, states that they fully expect the current signal, BLC-1, to fade away under the intense scrutiny of the project. However, there is a possibility that it won't, and further investigation over the next few months is needed to exclude other potential origins firmly. Additionally, while the signal appears to originate from Proxima Centauri, BLC-1 itself does not precisely match the expected techno signature from that system. There is no evidence of any variation in the signal that can be used to transmit information. According to Siemian, the signal, BLC-1, is essentially a single tone. Currently, no additional distinguishable features have been detected. Furthermore, the signal shows slight frequency drift, which could be caused by either the movement of our planet or a moving extraterrestrial source, such as a transmitter on one of Proxima Centauri's planets. The frequency of the transmission can change over time. This frequency shift is likely due to the source of the signal moving relative to Earth, possibly because it is orbiting a distant star. This movement creates a Doppler effect, similar to the changing pitch of an ambulance passing by. Further investigation was conducted on the drift rate of BLC-1. While the signal could still originate from Earth and move away from the telescope, only some of the proposed hypotheses could explain the recorded drift over time. Deep space objects like probes were not pointed towards Proxima Centauri, yet, the observed drift did not align with what would be expected if the signal were traveling within the Proxima system itself, relative to Earth. Interestingly, the observed drift contradicts what one would expect from a signal originating from a planet orbiting the star closest to our Sun. Based on Sheikh's analysis, we would anticipate the frequency of the signal to decrease, similar to a trombone, but instead it exhibits an increase in frequency resembling a slide whistle. Further observations are required to confirm that BLC-1 is indeed a techno signature. However, subsequent attempts to detect the signal using parks have failed so far. It's important to exercise caution, as previous false alarms had led to disappointment when it was discovered that the signal originated from human sources rather than extraterrestrial beings like the Klingons. Further observations are needed in the coming days to gain more clarity. Sometimes, the mysteries of space are unraveled, but other times they remain unsolved. This is not the first time researchers searching for extraterrestrial intelligence have encountered false alarms. For instance, 2015, Russian astronomers detected an intriguing beam-shaped signal using a radio telescope near Zelenchukskaya at the foot of the Caucasus Mountains north of Georgia. However, it turned out to be from a Russian military satellite. The most famous instance occurred in 1977 when astronomers studying printouts from Ohio State University's Big Ear Observatory discovered a 72-second burst known as the WOW signal, which remains unexplained. The recent discovery of a signal known as BLC-1 has sparked excitement, 
and raised questions about the possibility of initiating an interplanetary conversation. It's remarkable to consider that we could dialogue with beings from another planet within a decade. However, this also brings up concerns regarding the nature and intentions of our potential conversation partners. Proxima Centauri, our closest neighboring star, is near us, prompting us to ponder what a society from a nearby planet might know about Earth. Astrobiologist Jacob Hawk Mascara suggests that if they have a similar level of technological advancement, they would likely be aware of life on our planet. However, the timing of their discovery is crucial, as our detection capabilities have evolved. The Breakthrough Listen team is working on two research projects to gather more information about BLC-1. They also focus on identifying potential terrestrial interference sources and determining if the signal repeats. They can distinguish genuine interstellar signals from radio frequency interference by utilizing different radio telescopes and expanding their operations. The insights gained from this investigation will help SETI researchers refine their search parameters for future endeavors. Subscribe to our channel to unravel the mysteries of the universe. The possibility of Proxima B supporting life or civilization remains uncertain, but its proximity makes it an attractive target for future observations. Alternatively, we might consider a proactive approach, such as Breakthrough Starshot, which aims to send a small probe propelled by laser energy and equipped with a solar sail to reach Proxima Centauri at a significant fraction of the speed of light. This ambitious mission, achievable within a human lifetime, has the potential to revolutionize our understanding of the universe. Is the Alpha Centauri just like our universe? To find out, click on the video link popping up, and we will catch you there in a second.